it's Ramon with 321 Kiteboarding Water Sports here for another quick off the beach gear review. Uh, I'm in beautiful sunny Panama, uh, Punta Chame, and I uh, had a first chance to try and bring a new harness with me. And I've got to tell you, it was a little scary bringing a brand new harness um, to somewhere that I've never been and hoping that it was going to be as comfortable as advertised. And I can tell you, it gets two thumbs up. Definitely as comfortable as it says it's going to be. Um, Bright Engine started a while ago making custom harnesses and now they are in mass production and they did not lose a beat. These are custom molded to you know a basic frame and they tend to work for just about everybody. This is my first time riding them. I probably had about four to five hours on it and the first striking thing is that because of the stiffness the amazing thing is that it doesn't actually feel like you're being pulled by anything. There's no lower back pull it feels like someone's just pushing you from behind. So the stiffness just takes the entire load of the kite and really distributes it across the entire harness. What that means is that when you get off the water, you don't feel like, oh, I've got to take this harness off and oh, my back. It's literally pain-free, um, does not ride up on you because of its form. Um, so overall, it's a really great, great harness, high quality, great look to it. And uh, they do come with two options. So. The first option is just your standard fixed hook, and this is going to appeal to most riders. You know, you're going to hook in, and then there's also an optional uh, sliding style spreader bar, and that works fantastic. So if you're a wave lover and you want uh, some extra freedom of movement, or maybe you just need help riding toe side or going upwind, um, the sliding spreader bar is something very nice, and you should definitely try it. Uh, the inside is just high quality. It's really nice. It allows it to, uh, to feel comfortable and also slide a little bit if you need it to, if you wear it a little looser. But uh, overall, you really just put the harness on, you completely forget that it's there, and you just go out and you have a good time. Um, only minor gripes, if I had any, were the Velcro runs all the way. So if you are a larger rider and you leave any of the Velcro exposed, it might rub on you. I hear that uh, that's either in, a, in the works to be fixed or has been fixed. And then I have experienced just a little bit uh, of an issue with these loosening up. So these are the connection points. But what I found was I had the, the, the tightening strap around and behind. I've since just tucked it in in front and haven't had the issue since. Uh, so Ride Engine, this is their hex core harness. And they've got a couple other lines. They have some carbon fiber lines and carbon fiber bars. But uh, check it out on our website, Ride Engine. Uh, try one today. It's phenomenal. Morning.